I'd like to introduce you to Plotly's community member from Canada, P.O. P.O. is here today to teach you how to create the dropdown in Python. Specifically in this video that he created, you will learn how to incorporate the dropdown into a data app that connects to a pretty awesome map. Enjoy. Hello, P.O. from the Dash community here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop a scattered geo app of volcanoes by type using a drop-down dash core component, as well as a scatter geo map component. Uh, I'm gonna try to show you how to develop this app really quickly in about 10 minutes, step-by-step step from scratch. So uh, feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast at some point, and uh, let's get started. So we need first to import the dash core component and library. So dash DCC HTML input output as well. Uh, like this, we need to import pandas for data transformation. We need to import uh, plotly express as PX for our map. And then we're going to load our data, uh, my data set. We're going to assign an object here. Um, we got this prepared here. It's, it's on GitHub. You can grab a series of data sets available on the Plotly uh, dash GitHub uh, using the hyperlink above. Uh, so we're just going to copy paste that here. And now we're going to create a data frame with pd.readcsv and uh, use the object we've assigned here, my data set. Now we need to use an encoding that's going to set it as latent because there are some characters of languages other than English here and it's going to cause a bug uh, if we don't do that. Um, we've already explored the data set and uh, here's a glance at what it looks like. We got a number of columns um, describing the volcano names, country, region, latitude, longitude, elevation type, status, and last known. So uh, let's get started with the app now, uh, app equals dash dot, uh, underscore underscore name. That's gonna be our app. Now we're gonna have to define the app, the app's layout. And we always get started with an HTML div like this. We're gonna grab a component. We're gonna start with a header just for a tiny bit of style. We're gonna name this app, uh, my volcano app, simply put. Uh, let's now, we now need the drop down menu. We always have to assign the ID. So uh, let's name it my drop down. And uh, uh, for this, we're gonna assign a series of options. Now here, since we're building an app around volcano types, uh, we're going to grab all of the unique values in the type columns. So uh, we're going to do df type dot unique here, and we're going to assign an initial default value of, uh, let's pick this one, stratovolcano. Uh, so that looks good. And now we want to add uh, this we don't we want to close the DCC drop down first and add our graph so DCC graph ID is gonna be my scatter geo and and that's all we're gonna need for now uh, we're gonna use the uh, app decorator now and assign an output uh, we need to assign this output to my scatter geo, and this is going to be a figure. Now, for the input, we use my drop down, and this is going to be a value. And now we define a sync input function. We're going to assign a uh, just a name that would be appropriate uh, volcano selection here. And this is going to need to return a figure. So let's define a figure, uh, plotly express, 
uh, no, that's Bloodly Express uh, Scatter Geo. That's right. DF is gonna take. We're gonna have to do a bit of slicing here with lock, DF lock, and we're gonna grab the type column and we want that column to be only to using to be using only the rows uh, corresponding to the volcano type selected so uh, we assign that here right here um, this is gonna control the amount of data that we need and as you can see here these are the other arguments so uh, we'll assign the latitude to latitude as we see here this column name um, we're gonna have the longitude we're gonna assign it as well longitude um, we're gonna assign a size for the bubbles to represent the height of each volcano so size equals elevation uh, this is a colony here and uh, why not have the um, the name of the volcano displayed on the bubbles as we hover ho over them so let's grab volcano name here and that's gonna be it and we just need to return the figure and next up we go with the final um, if underscore underscore name is equal to main uh, app and we run the server with the app and for this demo let's just put the debug to false and run that we're gonna close the previous one and run this new one Let's see what it looks like. And there we have it. These are the basic building blocks for our app. Now the rest of the of the the other parts are going to be mainly styling. For example, we could want the title to be centered. So here we could add a style equals uh, text text align center for example and uh, now we stop the app and we relaunch it and here we go you, as you can see the title is now centered now as you can see we've got the uh, volcano name and elevation in meters displayed right onto the bubbles as we hover over them um, everything is working fine uh, we're going to use the drop down as well just to make sure it works and everything seems to be in order there you go thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video